What's going on guys, it's Devin up here. I have a comparison video for you guys and you guys already know what it is. The G7X Mark II and III and let's begin. All right guys, so I went outside and I got a collection of film and pictures and I want you guys to compare what's what. So I'm gonna leave the answers in the description of the video, but watch it first and figure out which camera is which. So let's begin. to mention the quality of each so the mark 3 is actually lighter than the mark 2 and also is more sturdier the flip screen is more sturdier um, as you guys see it actually comes out flips up flips out it's not really that hard it just actually comes on me out just like this it's just the same as the mark 2 and of course the order model you know, it's a little weaker and it's heavier, of course, because it's the Mark II. So they made the Mark III a little bit lighter and more sturdier. So that's pretty cool. So good job to Canon on that one. Both Mark II and III have 20 megapixels. Another thing, they both have touch screens. Tilt screens, of course, are still the same. Built-in Wi-Fi is still the same. They both have ND filters, so you can shoot in the sunlight a lot easier without being too bright or too dark. Neither of them still doesn't have a horseshoe attached to it. And I'll show a picture of a horseshoe right here. And they both have NPC, where you can use your phone to take the pictures or video from the camera onto your phone, the computer. Now here are the difference between the two, in which the most of the advantage goes to the Mark III. The Mark III can shoot in 4K, the Mark III can shoot in panorama, and the Mark III has a built-in mic, which is right here. The thing that I do not like about it is that when you, well, I have a mic attached on right now. So when I attach this mic on, as you guys will see, I will show you, it's very big and you don't know where to place it because there's no horseshoe. You can't put the mic anywhere. So once you attach it, it's just like, where can the mic go? But I'm sure if you have a tripod, gimbal, or something that can keep this in place, I'm sure you can wrap the mic around it somehow and be creative with the mic. Or they might come out with a mic and do something with it. I'm pretty sure they'll do something with it. But for now, in 2019, there's no mic for it. Personally for it. 
Uh, the camera's newer, so it has more features, such as the whole automatic upload, where once you get done filming a video, it goes straight towards your website or your YouTube or whatever, G7 X Mark III too. So that's an upgrade, it's a major upgrade. So if you're on the go and you're in a hurry, you wanna upload something, once you get done, it's uploading already, so that's a plus. Another thumbs up for the Mark III is it went from 8.1 frames per second to 20 frames per second. Now that's a major jump in cameras because most cameras, the common frame per second is between five to 10, but it went to 20, which is, and I'm quite surprised it's actually shooting the 20 frames per second for this kind of camera. But hey, you know what? If it can do it and it has the quality to do it, why not? It's a thumbs up, you know? Like I said, most cameras today that comes out has between five to 10 and this has 20 frames per second. And what that means, if you guys don't know, it has a capability of the burst rate. So if you're running or doing any sports or you're just doing something that's just fast motion, the Mark III has a very high chance of catching that speed in place so it's not too blurry. So I'll show you guys right here what I mean by that, but that's an awesome feature to have. So if you're just doing track or playing football and you want to record or you know just catch the moment it'll do a great job by catching it so another thumbs up it can take better raw photos and video which means so if you're actually recording a video usually what jpeg does it compresses the video into something smaller into a compressed format to make the data kind of compressed and you can use that but raw photos are just what you record it has every image it has every color it has everything most professionals use raw so they can get more creativity casual fans and casual people who use cameras use jpeg which is nothing wrong with that as you guys see mostly everyone uses jpeg which is normal there's nothing wrong with using jpeg keep it basic keep it jpeg for high level users advanced users and video makers this is a plus because now they can have more data to work with and more memory to work with with the raw files the mark III has a faster shutter speed and a higher iso with the higher iso it has a very very good chance of being seen in the dark so if you're out shooting videos in the dark it will have a very high chance of looking clear in the dark and also um you're not dark you can see in the dark so videos in, at nighttime will look a lot better look brighter the higher the iso the better that's a thumbs up for the mark three here are some cons that i got for the mark two and three for the mark two i don't really have any cons because it's because for when it came out around its time i mean it's done great for what it's time and it's actually still being used to this day and it's a great camera all around camera um you don't really need 4k today you can still use this camera this camera does a great job it can still hold up today compared to other cameras the con that i have with the mark three now i will show you that i had a hard time focusing whenever i use the autofocus when i'm making the video it has a hard time focusing or it takes a while for it to fully focus so that's like a thumbs down hopefully there will be a firmware update where it ups state that but at the moment it has a hard time focusing and that's a downside to me but besides that once it gets on that focus track and once it warms up to me and it focuses on my face to keep the autofocus track it's a really good camera and in 2019 for a new camera to come out like that that's that's not a good thing you know most cameras can just be spot on with it and just you know as soon as you turn the camera on and you focus on yourself it's already there but the fact that this is a brand new camera that's coming out you know same lens of course everything's just upgrade a new processor it should be on it also last but not least the processor the canon mark ii has a digit 7 processor while the mark three has a digit eight processor so this which is why colors are better on the mark three the images are slightly better on the mark three because it's updated of course so the better the processor the better camera i mean it will, okay well time out. not the better camera but more detailed camera I'll say that. Also, the cons that I don't like about the Mark III is that the battery life is shorter as what I've seen. Of course, if you use the 4K, it's gonna fry your battery, which is normal and no problem at all. If you're using the 4K, it is gonna fry your battery. It's normal, do not flip out, do not freak out, do not get upset, it's normal. Like I said, most cameras cannot handle 4K and most stuff today is not 4K ready yet. So fine, it's normal. Even on its HD settings, I do notice that the camera does run out a bit faster. So if you are gonna use this camera, make sure you charge it before using it for a full day. 
it's not gonna last for a full day, but if you're gonna record your videos, vlogs, whatever, just make sure you charge it. So, which is why I say I do not have any cons for the Mark II, because we know this camera can last all day for what is done and what it's worth. So we know the Mark II is proven. It's the Mark III that needs to be proven if it's worth the upgrade. They're both a great camera. If you're on a budget and want to start YouTube or want to start making videos, vlogs, or just want to use it just for fun, traveling, go with the Mark II. There's nothing wrong with the Mark II. The Mark II has been proven. It's the It's been the best camera for two possibly three years. The Mark II has just already been proven as the quality best camera you can go to. Everyone had the Mark II and it's always been the go-to camera. Now, if you're willing to upgrade to the Mark III and if you need the better colors, the more detail, the 4K capabilities of automatic uploads to your YouTube or whatever website that you're using, um, better pictures, because it does take great pictures now compared to the Mark II. It is an all-around better camera, except for the autofocus in my opinion. And it, it is pretty much the same camera. It's, it is the same camera, but it's just updated. That's pretty much what I would call the Mark III. So which is why I'm saying the Mark II is not a bad idea. If you want something that's up to date, 2019, 2020 and beyond ready, get the Mark III, ready for the 4K. I said the capabilities that it can do, the mic, go with the Mark III. It's a good camera and I like the Mark III. All right guys, that's the end of the video. What do you guys think? Do you guys want the Mark II? two mark three you think they're the same they're different you think one is better than the other you guys comment down below what you think is better and what suits you all right i'm devin up you guys stay positive i'm out